you piece of <laughs> you go to hell. No! <laughs> oh, oh, no! As you probably know, WWE matches don't always stay inside the ring. When there's no count out, wrestlers often brawl around ringside, into the crowd, and in the backstage area. In some extreme cases, WWE wrestlers have even found themselves fighting outside of the arena. In even rarer moments, wrestlers have thrown their opponents off of dry land and into the ocean. It's gotta be 35, 40 degrees! <laughs> and our house snow tossed in! Let's look at the wrestlers who have been slammed into the water. Shortly after losing the World Heavyweight Championship to Rey Mysterio, Jack Swagger demanded a no disqualification rematch. The two wrestlers faced off in the main event of SmackDown, which aired from Corpus Christi, Texas. The action quickly spilled out into the crowd and all over the arena. Swagger eventually threw Rey Mysterio out the front door and headed towards the nearby Gulf of Mexico. After some back and forth, it looked like Mysterio was going for a swim, but then this happened. Unfortunately for Ray, there is one more surprise waiting right behind him. Swagger and Mysterio are not the first wrestlers to be thrown into the Gulf of Mexico. In 2008, CM Punk was involved in a bitter rivalry with Chavo Guerrero after Chavo defeated Punk for the ECW title, thanks to interference from Edge. ECW general manager Armando Estrada announced that before Punk would have his championship rematch, he and Chavo would compete in a Gulf of Mexico match. The only way to win is to throw your opponent into this cesspool of water. Once the bell rang, the two wrestlers almost immediately went outside of the ring. When the fight left the arena, both CM Punk and Chavo Guerrero used nearby vehicles to do as much damage to each other as possible. Once they found themselves on the edge of the water, Chavo Guerrero had the advantage, but Punk wasn't done. Thanks to the GTS, CM Punk was able to win the match and remain high and dry. During Edge and John Cena's heated rivalry in 2006, the Radar Superstar decided to chuck Cena's Spinner WWE Championship into the ocean. Oh, wait a minute, what? Oh my god! Oh, there it goes! The ultimate opportunist then unveiled his own Radar Championship belt. Later in the show, after Edge wrestled a match against Jeff Hardy, John Cena ran out and attacked the champion. Edge tried to escape, but Cena gave chase, and the fight ended up backstage and outside of the arena. The two men began brawling alongside the harbor, allowing John Cena to give Edge the same treatment the Radar Superstar showed Cena's championship. Time to swim, kid! What? Oh, no! Oh my god! Oh my god, kid! Reflecting on the moment 14 years later, Edge revealed that the water he fell into was actually really polluted. I didn't realize that it's the most polluted body of water in the United States. And then I went home and was sick for a week. Because of its unique rules, the 24-7 title puts wrestlers in some unique locations, even the ocean. After getting word that the champion, our truth would be at the beach, Akira Tozawa decided to ambush him. The Japanese wrestler brought one of his ninjas in a referee shirt, and despite his henchman's disapproval, Akira Tozawa threw him into the ocean anyways. They hid in the water and waited for R-Truth to arrive, but unfortunately, a shark appeared, forcing the two to swim away. Shout out to Rodrigo Jared Sandoval, who commented on the last list video we did. Thank you so much, Rodrigo. If you want to get a shout out in our next video, leave a comment below. After that, smack the annotation to watch another video. With that, I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and take it easy.